I'm a one-way motorway I'm a road that drives away Follows you back home I'm a street light shining I'm a bright light burning Burning off and on Oh, there's times like these You learn to live again There's times like these You give and give again There's times like these you learn to love again It's times like these Time to time again Hi guys, this is how to play the acoustic guitar version of Times Like These by the Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters Fridays are back! Um, so we're doing this acoustic guitar version this Friday and then next Friday I'm going to be showing you how to play the electric guitar version, the riff part to it. All of those sorts of licks which I've seen virtually none of on YouTube. Everyone's sort of taught this acoustic version and no one's done the electric guitar licks. So I'm uh, showing you this version first so that you can kind of get the song and the chords under your belt and the idea. The acoustic guitar version I'm referencing in this song is in the link in the description below so if you haven't checked out that video it's best to get the whole song sort of listened to and, and memorized as much as you can from listening to it before taking on a song with this many chords and subtleties that we're going to be going through but other than that let's get you straight in for a close-up and show you how to play times like these by the Foo Fighters so this is how to play the chords of times like these Essentially the chords, while Heather Dave Grohl is singing, are exactly the same in the acoustic or the electric guitar version. And we've got no capo on, standard tuning, and we play a D major chord. And this is for two bars, so... I, I'm a one way. And then we go to A minor. Um, on the word motorway. And then we have a C major chord, E minor, back to a D. Now for most of those, because um, there's a lot of chords here, uh, we do have an anchor finger in fact. So we've uh, no anchor finger from the D chord to A minor, but A minor to C, you've got first two fingers staying where they are. And for C to E minor, middle finger stays where it is so take advantage of those anchor fingers and um, the C and the E minor are just there for the one bar so basic version first of all um, from the D chord I, two three A minor and then a C I'm a street light A minor. I'm a white light C chord. E minor back to D. Okay, I'll be showing you some embellishments on all of this and the strumming in a second. Let's just cover the chords to the chorus because there's only three of them. It's essentially C major, standard way of playing it. It's times like these. E minor there. D. One bar of each chord, it's times like these, U, E minor and D. It's C, E minor then a D. It's times like these, time and time again. Okay, so pretty straightforward, you know, if you're doing that on the beat, four strums of each. Plow straight through it and you'll be totally fine. Okay, embellishments and we're going to do the riff last. I'll put a link to forward you on in the in the video if you want to go straight to, to, to that bit. Seeing as that's just the acoustic version, I'll, I'll leave it for now. Um, in the verse... I'm a one-way motorway 
I'm a road that drives away Farther back home Okay, so um, no real variation on the D chord A minor, we're going to take your third finger off and then add your little finger down just here on the thinnest E string third fret and we're going to have a step in between when, before we go to the C chord of this, which is a C slash B chord, but essentially where your C chord is, just move your middle finger up one and no third finger down. So watch one more time. Standard D chord, A minor 7, no third finger, little finger goes down. Middle finger up one for the step in between chord to get that root note there. C. And then E minor, you stick your little finger down again. That third fret of the thinnest E string becomes very useful for these embellishments. Um, standard strumming, just look at the chords that I'm playing for this time to get some cooler chords under your belt, okay? D chord for two bars. D chord again. E minor seven. One more time, even slower. Three, four, one, two, three, A minor, little finger. Step between the chords. E minor, then a D chord. Okay. And for the strumming, down, down, up, up, down is great. That's absolutely fine. Anywhere you, ha you have two bars of the same chord, however, so say we got these two bars of a D chord, keep the up down part going. So down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. We have up, down, up twice. Up, down, up, up, down, up. And again, to get a much, much more subtlety to this song and really try and nail it to the original, um, hit the thinner strings on the up strum and the thicker strings on the down strum. So it becomes almost an arpeggio pattern. Now it's a bit more like the lead um, guitar part there, the electric guitar part, rather than the acoustic one. So we'll be covering that more, you know, how to play this in the electric guitar version which is coming next Friday. We just want to be able to strum it. Okay, so down, down, up, up, down, anytime it's just one bar. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Um, when it's two bars of the same chord, essentially. Um, when it's the chorus, down, down, up, down is great. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. That was a D sus four that I added in to taste. Uh, the last part of the song, the that's the same three chords as the chorus are. So 
D, C and E minor, but you have to count to seven, which would mean the time signature is seven, four, seven beats in the bar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dead on, dead on, dead on, dead on. And then we have a return of the riff. Let's cover the riff now. We basically have a repetition of down, up, down, up, down, twice. So we have down, up, down, up, down five strums, one, two, three, four, five, and on your first finger on the D chord, we lift it off to begin with. This is the weird thing. There's this chord to start off with, without your first finger, okay? It's just a riff, don't worry about what the thing's called. It's totally fine to lift fingers off of chords, especially at this second fret. Dan's really great, you should try it. Um, but we need five strums and we're going to lift off one, two, three, four, five. That's what your first finger is doing here. Up and down, down, up and down. Try and do that while having the D chord down. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and just strum five down strums, strum the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that would happen twice. And then it's just the first three strums, so one, two, three, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One more time from the top. Two, three, four. That's definitely the way to get this riff. Just do it with down strums and then we'll get the downs and ups properly in a second. Okay. The real trick to getting it sounding great and natural and playing it correctly is keeping this arm swinging, downs and ups, one and two and three, down, or one, two, three, four, five is probably the easiest way to think about it. If you're struggling to coordinate the downs and ups with your first finger lifting off, just play a normal D and get used to this. Depending on how people do with this strumming pattern, sometimes we can just do that for the song. Down, up, down, up, down. But you want to aim for. that and if you do a slightly slower first strum and we do what's called a spread because we kind of spread all the all the notes out as the heard so we hear each individual string it sounds really great um, so then the challenge is to go from that strumming pattern that riff essentially to the strumming pattern which is in the verse and also later on in the song the chorus 
So as a demo, we need to do this one three times. Two. Three. And then we're meant to... with all that content in it, um, this is definitely a song with a lot of subtlety and a lot of different sections that are quite hard to go from one to the other. So this is definitely a song I would put right at the end of my beginner's course um, to kind of test my students how well they can learn that riff and then go from each section and, and get the required feel to be able to nail this song to that great original record, um, the Dave Grohl solo acoustic one. Um, Often it's not the fact that, you know, people can't do an F bar chord or, you know, they, the, the strings don't ring out um, as, as well as they could that really holds people back. I think it's keeping a whole song in your mind and memorising just a few songs or even a lot of songs, um, remembering how they go and being able to nail the subtleties. <laughs> Like adding that spread in there and then doing one part loud and then doing one part quiet which is just dynamics you know loud and quiet makes such a difference but so that's how to play times like these by the Foo Fighters as soon as the electric guitar version I've got that one filmed it will be here there'll be links to it and we got plenty of other um, Foo Fighters ones filmed. Uh, we got Learn to Fly, we got Something from Nothing, and more coming all the time as I as I fill them between now and Christmas. So uh, plenty to keep you occupied. Please uh, subscribe to follow the channel and make sure you're getting the newest updates and, and uploads as soon as I do upload them to YouTube. And um, I'm sure I'll see you in one of those videos. Take care of yourselves, have fun with this song. It's one of my favourites, and uh, bye for now.